Alright, so I'm back with part two of making France Napoleon again. Now, we're gonna attack Russia at some point, but first we got a bit of cleanup to do. There's still a lot of rogue, unaffiliated nations in Europe that I think we should bring into our alliance. First one is Bulgaria. So I will be puppeting Bulgaria instead of annexing them, mostly because I just think the borders would look stupid if I annex them. So I'll let them live just as long as they're a part of my alliance. And there you go, the French alliance gets bigger every day. Oh shit, I was actually gonna attack Turkey soon. But uh, with Polish protection, that might be a bit more difficult. So I'll just go after the Greeks instead. Again, puppet, because can't have those messy borders. I also gave uh, Thrace to Bulgaria as a sort of consolation prize and apology for me attacking them earlier. And now the whole Balkans is under French alliance control. Portugal, get ready. You better bend over and prepare for moi baguette. See, now there's two reasons that I will annex Portugal instead of puppeting. One, clean borders. And two, there is a certain UEFA Euro final match that I think needs to be avenged. All right, so the Soviets have attacked the Polish alliance, which leaves me with a bit of a dilemma here. I could help the Polish because they helped me against Germany. I mean, or I could can attack the Polish when they're vulnerable and take their land. I feel like it's too hard of a decision, so I'm just going to attack the Iraqis instead. You know what? No, I, I can't do that. I have to seize the opportunity here. I mean, in a way, Poland's going to lose already, so I'm just saving them from Soviet occupation if I'm the one who's occupying them. Look, I feel, I feel a bit bad. I'm not going to lie, but they're in the way. They're in the way. I gotta, I gotta get through them to get to the Soviet Union anyways. Apparently, the Spanish are still alive, and they're sinking all my convoys with their navy that just exists. I don't even know how this is happening. Oh, I, I see now. They're, uh, they're on the Balearic Islands. I, I forgot to annex that part of Spain. Oops. All right, we're closing in on Warsaw. We got a lot of pockets of troops surrounded. So the Polish are, well, they're about to die. Disregard what I said earlier. We've driven them all the way up to the Baltic Sea. They pretty much only have Konigsberg now, and they're still fighting. I, I give them credit for that, at least. They will not give up. But finally, in the end, the Polish do indeed surrender. And now it's time to get to work. And there you have it. Look how big the French alliance is now. No one's laughing at the French anymore, are they? I actually took all of Poland for myself. Now they still exist, actually. They're a vassal of Czechoslovakia. They're just kind of just kind of small now. All right, oddly enough, Turkey didn't actually surrender when Poland did. And so we're still fighting them. And they are still a member of the weird named alliance. So that's a thing that's happening. And there go my plans to attack the Iraqis. Turkey also gets annexed because, since I already own Syria, the borders will stay pretty clean. And since I gave Thrace to Bulgaria, as an apology to Greece for that, I allowed them to take Constantinople. You know, I still feel a bit bad about attacking Poland and all because they helped me earlier. So as, a, uh, as a, an apology to them, I'm going to be releasing their country, even though they're still owned by the Czechs, I guess. Just as long as they stay a part of my alliance. It's all good. Feast your eyes upon the French alliance now. That right there is a dominant world power. Alright, so the Iranians have now joined the common turn. Which I guess that just means they want to get attacked as well. Alright, so before I even got the chance to invade the Soviet Union, they go off, declare war on Iraq, who if you remember earlier, joined the Allies. So now what we have here is a good old-fashioned British-Russian brawl. And now the Japanese are getting involved as well. This is getting out of hand. I can't keep track of what's going on. See, the best part about this whole situation, though, is that not only has Douglas MacArthur won the election in the United States, he's now playing both sides by sending volunteers to Japan and allied countries. 
That is a classic U.S. move if I've ever seen one. I, I gotta do something though, I mean, the whole world is going to war again, and I'm just over here on the sidelines with my thumb up my ass. Alright, so the Czechs have refused to join the war, which means Poland also can't join the war, and so now I'm just like attacking in like two spots over here. This raid will be uh, to Moscow by like 2043. Alright, now the Czechs have joined and now we're making progress. I mean, dare I say home by Christmas? I am now taking direct control of Iraq by liberating it from the Soviet Union and therefore have out George Bush George Bush. Oh, I hate trying to draw with this stupid offensive line tool. My god, why does Crimea have to be such a weird shape? Gosh, no, stop, go back. No, stop, oh my god, fuck it. All right, you can see I have made a lot of progress. And I didn't show you any of it because I may have lost all the footage between Minsk and Moscow. And I can already hear the complaints of cheating, so in order to prove my innocence, here are the statistics where you can see that the Soviet Union has lost almost 17 million men. And when you compare the amount of casualties I've taken compared to all of the AI, you can see that I have done more than everyone else, and therefore, all 17 million of those Soviet Union troops have died by my hand, and I have not cheated. But now I've run into the problem where trying to get the Soviet Union to capitulate by land attack from the west is nearly impossible because it's so big and there's so many cities. It is actually going to be faster if I sail troops all the way across the world plan a naval invasion, and then land in Vladivostok. And there they go, the troops that will end the war. They are on their way. They are heading forth towards victory. Very slowly. Yeah. All right, it would appear that my troops have decided to take the long way by going all the way around Japan. And for some reason, Canada, they're up here doing God knows what. Any moment now. And there it is! Surely that's the win, right? Is it gonna end? Am I gonna get the peace deal? No? Let me see here. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me with that. Come on, man! How hard is it to get the Soviets to surrender? Alright, I was hoping the naval invasion would be what ended the war. You know, end it with a bit of pizzazz. But instead, we're just gonna be walking right into this city, I guess. And there you have it! The war is finally over! Now it's time to get to work. Well, that is just something, isn't it? Uh, you can see the R Russian Federation here. A puppet of Czechoslovakia. They are just one continuous line across the entire length of Russia. That is even worse than Poland used to be. French Alliance, though, I mean, that's like, that's most of the world right there. Now, I bet you say, oh, you gotta take out the British, though. Well, yeah, I mean, if I do that, I gotta attack the United States as well, and that's, that's just, uh, and that's just time of my life that I am not going to do. So, come at me, bro. Video done.